culture is a plot against the expansion of consciousness. And this plot prosecutes its, uh, its goals through a uh, limiting of language. Language is the battleground. Language is the battleground. Language is the battleground over which the, the fight will take place. Because what we cannot what we cannot say, we cannot communicate, and by say, I mean dance, paint, sing, meme. What we cannot say, we cannot communicate. We can conceive of things that we cannot communicate. Uh, currently in this time, it has been taking place for, uh, let's say, over a decade now. Uh, it really did begin uh, waking up people, so to speak, uh, around 2012. But uh, an explanation as to my stance and position, uh, that's impossible really to explain. When you understand that spelling and language itself is the attack, a, a major part of the attack on the animus of your psyche and soul, um, then you begin to look in the right direction. There's uh, much information being processed through people, through their experiences, through their knowledges, and and uh, the experiences of their life, uh, looking for answers, questions that have been pondered by uh, the jury in the sky, I guess is what you would call it, the 12 archetypes. Um, that's what it means by judge by 12 uh, in trial. My experiences didn't begin five, six, almost seven years ago. And, you know, they just became, they converged and became quite intense. Uh, my experience has been all of my life. Uh, the languages, the attacks uh, via media, to everything's gonna be okay. Uh, they, they, pleasure is one of the main attacks. To, to make you unaware of what's actually taking place here. Um, they've been looking for answers in the sky, the, the hierarchy, the celestials, um, the ancients, the immortals, um, the gods with little g's, and looking for meaning of this, this place and what's transpiring here. Uh, how to navigate the world, uh, the mind uh, had to be mapped. Why is it firing like it is? What's wrong with the timing and the gestulation of the stories regarding religion? Uh, history is whatever. <laughs> That's how they cover it up. Um, but I'd had enough. Uh, I've been as alone as uh, possible uh, for the past seven little over seven and a half years. I've actually been alone all my life, uh, no matter if I was in a relationship or around people or not. It was just that thing to where I just never quite fit in. But an explanation. Uh, I unlocked the keys. I became the legend to the map of the world and the mind, the people, the events, what's taking place, why it's taking place. It breaks down the language barriers through time. Uh, The problems of the world. It's, and I went through trial and questioning with, I'd say the 12, <laughs> the archetypes uh, in the skies above us. And the answers, uh, I had the keys. And, um, you know, there's, there's so much to discuss. It would, everything that has been in any movie, book, educational, uh, a transmutation of what's taking place and what you actually are versus what you think or become you are. Uh, 
it's, uh, you know, it's a real ass kicker. Um, you know, I've literally been through hell, I believe, and made it through it. Uh, and now I became light, you know, and to the, the, the whole modality of the Christian uh, bedtime story or theological approach to uh, betraying someone so that you wouldn't have to pay the price for your life uh, or to deceive and betray someone knowingly uh, in a fashion that would cause him to be tortured and beaten and to force him to carry his own cross that he was unaware of uh, knowingly well that's attempted murder at the very best uh, it can get way worse than that when you see it as I do. Uh, there's not a term in the language that is fitting for what crimes have been committed uh, through kindness. K-I-N-E-D, kind. You've been kind. You think K-I-N-D is in nice as in Jesus was a kind, general, gentle man. But we the sheep it makes you collective cattle you follow even if you think you're outside of the box you're still inside the box because no matter where you look uh, if you're not on the side of the betrayers then no matter who you are or where you're at uh, they'll have someone to assist you in your uh, continuing befuzzlement um, and if you are genealogically related to the original adam uh, and I mean molecularly that is uh, the bloodline here the family tree and all that you're we are reproductions here we're not original uh, creations in other words two people recreated uh, to have children uh, that's a different story um, then the federal uh, companies these days, we all know who I'm speaking of, the government in general and worldwide, uh, know who is uh, potentially able to come on that is not on their team. And so they can harass you through helicopters. Ironically, the helicopters in which they harass you with are contained within a field that does not have to allow them to transverse the air. And so are the minds of the pilots. Uh, you might want to, you know, consider what what depth uh, of, of meaning that has. I do have a couple of videos on here that uh, deals with consciousness and another one that has more of a message about how they are actually turning on the service industries uh, combatively uh, to show what type of individuals, uh, people, um, law enforcement, uh, federal government, military, these types of situational uh, criminals that act as if they're good people. You see, that the, the, the badge or the uniform doesn't make the man. You know, that's a job that you have. Uh, anybody can get a job. So, uh, and when you understand that how they enforce and what they enforce is the secrecy of the code of becoming whole again, a whole Lee, in other words, you got wayward and leeward if you become the whole W H O L E Lee, uh, then you become unrestricted, and beyond that, uh, you became able bodied, uh, and then above that, you see, it just kept on going. So, I got through all 12 uh, and pled my case of life and dug deeper it was painful it was very painful and some very scary awarenesses came to me it was a consciousness but it plugged me back into what you would call the stream of consciousness or the god consciousness uh, as whatever as it may sound it looks like from what i can see that that's who i've always been is this guy this him this him and all uh, you know i don't i don't like really terms or words like that like is used here but uh and that's what I have became if I haven't always been. So I don't know if that helps uh, anybody on here that has questions. I may or may not be able to answer them, but uh, they are appreciated. Food for thought. Um, but anyway, um, if you watch this, I appreciate it. And uh, listen to your intuition. Uh, there will be scary, fearful things that occur. You may see things about family or even yourself, more likely yourself, without a doubt, you'll see things and become aware of things that you may have done. Uh, that's your consciousness trying to get in. Let it. 
Uh, and if you trust in anything, trust in what the experiences of the higher nature that you're having, even if they may be scary, if they may be painful or fearful, that's what gets you through, is how you interface with those archetypical uh, concepts and ideologies that are real, they're more real. This is a transitional phase, a stage of the development. Um, I think God rested and threw the keys out there and said whoever is the best may wear the, the, the crown of heaven and be the king of kings. And so I think that's basically what's transpired. Uh, it's an amazing time and amazing skies and amazing earth, fire, air, and water. Uh, uh, thanks for listening.